I didn't think it was going to be that much. Like, you should feel how heavy this is. Let's switch. <laughs> is it surprising? Yeah, that's a lot of garlic. Welcome to the food forest. I'm Chris. And I'm Rachel. We are beginner gardeners sharing our journey towards sustainable living so that we can help you grow your own food too. Today we're harvesting our first homegrown garlic. The biggest question that I've had with my garlic, at least right now, is how do you know when to harvest the garlic? You can't see the bulb, right? So the answer to when to harvest the garlic is in the leaves. You're going to want to look for the first bottom leaves that have completely died off. The third and the fourth leaf brown and crisped as well. And the rest of the leaves should look like this. They are still green, standing, some are knocked over and some of their tips are dried. This is about the optimal time to harvest your garlic. If you wait too long to harvest your garlic, the actual bulb will have split too much. You don't want the cloves to have split too much because it's going to decrease your storage time. This is about the optimal time that you'll be able to store garlic for the longest amount of time over the winter or so that you can replant them in November. Let's dig one of these up and I can show you another way for you to tell when to harvest your garlic. The second way that you can tell if your garlic is ready is when you dig one up. Let me first just show you here. This is one of the dead layers that I talked about. So the first two leaves should be pretty much dead and dried away. So this is leaf number one right here and is pretty much dead, which can be kind of scraped away. You don't really have to scrape it away. You just kind of risk damaging the layers if you do. I'm just showing you here what the first leaf looks like and this is the second leaf pretty much gone third leaf and this is the fourth leaf and the second way is you can see the individual cloves so it looks like it's been kind of saran wrapped over like there's a space here and so you can see the individual cloves on the garlic we got that saran wrapping action right there. It just looks like they're all independent cloves rather than one round singular bulb. And that's what you want to look for. So that is how you know if you should harvest all of the rest of your garlic. not expect to be holding this much garlic. Isn't that crazy? This is pretty awesome, I can't lie. Oh my goodness. Well now we're gonna go and cure all of this. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. Once the soil dries over the 10 to 14 days that they're going to be curing, the soil will just fall off on its own. This is in the shade. You could probably. has full airflow right through and that's very important.
whether or not you've planted garlic this year, I do highly recommend that you plant your garlic in November. In our cold climate, we plant our garlic cloves out in November. And then the following year, around this time, we harvest the bulbs, which is kind of mid-July. And in early June, we get to actually enjoy the scapes that came off of these. This is a hardneck music garlic. It is the most common type to grow in our area. And the reason I highly recommend growing garlic is because it's so easy to grow. And as a beginner gardener, it literally gives you instant gratification. And nothing about growing food is instant gratification. <laughs> so I highly recommend garlic. And now that our garlic beds are empty, we can actually plant another crop in that bed. We're going to be probably planting brassicas in our garlic bed this year and next year we're going to be doing melons. I was hoping to do melons however I didn't start them ahead of time. You're supposed to start melons about three weeks before you transplant them into your old garlic bed so that they have a long enough season to mature into the delicious fruit that you want to enjoy. If this video inspired you to grow garlic or perhaps grow more garlic, Give it a like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed growing garlic for the first time.